This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Some people have such a dread for snakes, including myself, that they're actually avoid going outdoors to fish, hunt, hike, or even picnic. Others kill every snake they see. It's relatively easy to avoid direct encounters with snakes, and all snakes, even venomous ones, help control populations of rodents and other pests. To learn more about a specific type of snake found in Missouri, we have Karen Armstrong with the Missouri Department of Conservation here this morning. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Yes. So I'm nervous, <laughs> but I, we've been standing close to each other for about a minute and a half. So I think I'm not as nervous as I was. But this is a black rat snake. That is correct. And where can we find these in Missouri? Uh, actually, it is the uh, largest of our common snakes. And okay. so it can be found all over the state. It prefers, well, it is a forest dwelling species, so it'll be found in wooded areas um, or uh, forested hillsides or along rivers and streams. But you can also, it will take shelter in brush piles, hollow trees, farm buildings, old houses. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it is named black rat snake, because of its color? Uh, yes, okay. and because of what it likes to eat. It is a rodent eater, but it also is an excellent climber and so eats birds and bird eggs as well. Excellent climber. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> no, he's staying right here on my, I, in my I see hand. this. I see this. So how big do you usually do they usually get? Um, this one can get up to four to five feet. And uh, this it is, although it doesn't look like it now, it is almost as tall as I long as I am tall. Okay. And uh, we also, he actually just got done shedding his skin, yes, right? That so is do you want to talk about that really quickly? Um, well, as they grow, they shed their skins. And because they have a scale that goes over their eye, uh, to protect it, they have no eyelid like we do, it will uh, shed the skin as well. And it's <laughs> located right here. Nice. Right here. And uh, everything but its head. Okay. And as you can see. So how, how long does that process take? Oh, uh, oh wow. minutes. You, so you can see the skin. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to touch that. <laughs> it's just skin. It's just like. Okay. Feels like wax paper. Yeah, it does. So yeah, they're, yeah, okay. So they, they shed their skin, and they shed that scale that goes over their eye. Okay. And uh, they do that when they're young. They'll do it, uh, obviously, more often. But when they get to be um, pretty much full grown, it, it happens maybe two or three times a year. Okay. Now, we, we kind of mentioned on what they eat. So what else do they eat? Um, like I said, rodents, which would be mice or rats, uh -huh. voles, shrews, and then they eat birds or bird eggs because they can climb. Alrighty. And but not all snakes eat that. Okay. And does it have some predators that they have to be wary of? Um, yes. Uh, the hawk uh, will eat the black rat snake. Okay. All right. And then there are other animals that eat snakes as well, like coyotes and foxes. And that okay. Sort of thing. So this no way is dangerous to humans, right? No. Huh? Okay. So I have actually, it's beneficial. Farmers um, appreciate the value of the uh, black rat snake. I was going to say, I, I know that some of my, my friends, including Tim Peters, uh, posted a picture of this and says that it just lives around the barn and it just it eats its mice and everything and, right. and keeps their land clear of that. So I guess, like you said, it is beneficial. It so. is. It is. And, and all snakes, um, most snakes will eat uh, rodents, and so that makes them uh, a value to us. All right. And we, I had asked you if uh, him squeezing you can be dangerous, and you said right now it's not too constricting that he's actually trying to keep himself warm. Right. Okay. And, and be, feel supported. Okay. All right. So this one obviously is not venomous. How can we tell when a snake is venomous? Well, the best way is through identification, being able to identify what is venomous. Um, but um, the way the most surefire way is to look at their eyes and the, eye, the pupils of their eyes. Uh, Non-venomous snakes have pupils like we do, um, but venomous snakes have um, an iris, I mean, excuse me, a pupil that goes up and down like a cat's eye. Okay. And what should we do if we encounter a snake that is venomous and we get bitten by one? What should we do? Go immediately to the hospital. Okay, fantastic. So now you take you take this young gentleman. How old is he? Do you know? Oh uh, well, we know? actually, um, I really don't. We received him from Truman when we opened our okay. office uh, eight years ago. Okay. So it's at least eight, and I okay. would say it's probably ten okay. years old. And and you take him around to schools and stuff to show kids, right? Yeah. Most of the time, this one just lives at our office. Oh, okay. Um, just like but... a pet mascot. Yeah. <laughs> He's there if you ever want to come visit him. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> So, all right, well, anything yep. else you'd like to add? Um, well, uh, we are, uh, as far as our office goes, we're going to have a new exhibit at our, at our office. 
if anybody's been there before, we have the helicopter back, which is okay. exciting for the kids. All right. And so, yes, please, um, snakes are, um, there is no season on snakes, so okay. you really aren't supposed to kill them. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com. We'll also link up the information to Missouri Department of Conservation. Thanks again for coming on. Sure. You're and welcome. keeping a safe distance. You, you did fine. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>